Bus Driver. Bus Driver is a game you can get on Steam for $10. It's made by the same people who made Euro Truck Simulator. And although it's considered a simulator, I think it's a little unrealistic now. The graphics don't look that good, even for 2007 standards. This game is an open world like Euro Truck Simulator either. It's just a bunch of missions, and with more complicated missions being unlocked as you progress, and in total there's just 30 missions you can do over and over and over again. To me, this game feels like Ocean City Racing with no free room. You can drive a couple different buses, but all feel the same, you do different missions in the same small hub city, and no matter how much you screw up, you can still win. Also, the graphics look the same to me. They both have delayed controls like you're maneuvering a bus, score one for bus driver there, and both have indestructible vehicles. While indestructible vehicles are fine for cheap racing titles like Ocean City Racing, they're not fine for a bus driving game claiming it's a realistic simulation of the real thing. As soon as I found this, it turned into a bus version of Crazy Taxi, which isn't good for riders expecting a smooth driving penalty free ride. There's a score system that gives you points if you arrive on time, not get in any accidents, keep the riders happy, and using turn signals when changing lanes. You lose points when you run red lights, arrive early but not late for some reason, get into accidents, over brake stressing the passengers, and not using turn signals to change lanes. And guess what route I took? Despite being the most reckless bus driver in recorded history, I still managed to get a positive score. Just like in Ocean City Racing, it's really hard to lose at the game. But what really puts the nail in the coffin is the price. Although I had fun ramming into everything I see, after an hour it got a little old. And that's when I realized you could do the same type of crazy stuff on Ocean City Racing, which is three times cheaper and three years newer. Although it has more missions in Ocean City Racing, it doesn't have a free roam function, option to switch vehicles, or any music in-game. I'm not joking, there is o there's only music on the title screen. And overall, if you wanted a bus simulation, you'll be disappointed. And if you wanted a game that is similar to your truck simulator, you'll also be disappointed. And if you wanted a game to mess around in, you could keep in mind that you can get a game for much cheaper, and is also more entertaining. It's just an old simulator that should be way cheaper than it is right now. But anyway, I'm Oscar, and I'll see you guys later.